we begin. Could do we yeah. could begin. You know, we have this movie that we want to make. Wait, wait. That's, 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 that's why we're so here. So sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Chief. Um, I'll be sorry. So, this is so kind of just cool. a couple things about this before we begin. Um, we will be doing the whole thing straight through, um, unless you guys want to take a break at like the 45 minute mark or something, but I think we'll probably get into it and just want to go all the way through. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to be like stopping and getting you notes or anything. This is mostly just to kind of hear you in person in the same room to be able to feed off each other's energy, which is a little bit better than um, like a Skype rehearsal or anything. And then we've also got Jay here. We've got some, some lovely folks. They were waving for... <laughs> Hi, Brett. Uh, <laughs> he's here, too. Uh, <laughs> Brett, Brett, you know. <laughs> yeah, Brett. Brett. Oh, shit. Brett. Hey, are you Brett? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. I was, I was, I was yeah. moments away. Yeah. Well done. All right. Fade in a white text quote against black, forgetting who you are to become who... What someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Scene one, Nine's Zen Garden Day. Hey, Tin Can. Good morning, Captain. Ready to get to work? Not quite. I'm still preparing for the investigation. Yeah. At least it's just bureaucracy today. No dead bodies. You believe corpses may be easier to deal with? People are complicated. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. There. Can you breathe now? I don't need to breathe. <laughs> you are so uptight. All the time. Even in your own brain. I mean, isn't this supposed to be your ideal world? Loosen up a little. My ideal appearance is polished. <coughs> well, at least, at least you let me keep my clothes. I like how you look. Why would I change it? Nines. 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 Hey. You blow a fuse or something? I I'm fine, detective. Just contemplating whether you'll ever run out of android jokes. Uh, not as long as you keep being one. You seem tense, rookie. Been a cop for nine years, Gavin. It's nothing I haven't seen before. Yeah. And you've been a detective for two days. Keep your eyes open, watch them learn. This looks fun. Don't worry. <laughs> I've never been intimidated by people <laughs> who ate androids. Gavin may have been teasing, but he wasn't wrong. Your heart rate is 30% higher than usual. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine. Just <clears throat> walking into a building full of androids who know I shot down some of them. You didn't know back then. Marcus chose to spare your life at Capitol Park. If Jericho follows him, they should follow his mercy. Maybe they'd be right not to. Where do you think you're going, plastic? DPD, back off. Unless you want to spend the rest of the day in a cell for interfering with police business. And what are you? Some kind of android bootlicker? Even the cops are on this now, huh? Punch to the stomach! I mean, I don't know. It might be more realistic if you punched him in the face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he might get farther. It depends on how, you, how high you can reach. Yeah. Hey man, if Tom Cruise can do it, you can do it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 5-5 five, five Scientology you piece of be. shit. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not <laughs> do it. You want to All right. Be to. We're gonna box. It'll be great. Know he's he's box. He is fucking listening also. <laughs> <laughs> Scientology is everywhere. You should take Detective Reed's advice. Go back to your people. Scene four, interior eight is office day. You're lucky no one was filming that. The last thing you need is to get fired for assault. No one's gonna give me shit over putting some backwards asshole in this place. Perhaps in the court of public opinion, but Captain Fowler didn't hire you to be a vigilante. Get off my dick, okay? Look, whatever happens, it was worth it. Besides, uh, you're the one who broke his hand? That could be justified as self-defense. Take it from someone who's been in a fight or two? I had it covered. As charming as your scars are, detective, I don't need my honor defended, but I do appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Yeah, are uh, you the Jericho rep we spoke to on the phone? Yes, my name is Ada. Welcome to New Jericho. Guess the word got out about a dead android, huh? People protest outside of Jericho every day. This has nothing to do with the case. It's fascinating to see an android working as a detective. What's your model number? RK-900. RK? 
Like Marcus? Yes, we're in the same model line. Incredible. You must be one of a kind. I believe deviancy makes us all unique. <clears throat> you uh, got those case files to show her? <clears throat> of course. This is everything we have on the case so far. The victim's identification said she resided here, which is why we got in touch. I recognize her name and model number from our manifest. Lisa. She was the only AC-900 at Jericho. What happened to her? A longshoreman found her body disposed of at a shipyard. Her chest cavity was ripped open and her, she was missing her premium pump. <clears throat> what do you need from me? Most murders are committed by someone the victim already knew. She lived here, so all of her acquaintances and friends at Jericho could all be suspects. It would be helpful if we could interview her known associates. We need that information from you. We're not saying that someone at Jericho mur like, murdered one of their own. No. Uh, as difficult as it is to accept, I could believe it. Deviancy opens many doors. Not all of them are kind. And with the financial strain that some androids are under, uh, the desperation to kill could be believed. No one's being arrested. It's just testimonies for now. If you think of anything else that might be helpful, give us a call. Scene 5, interior, New Jericho Lobby, day. You must be one of a kind. God damn, can't take you anywhere. That is not what she sounded like. It was more like, <laughs> you must be one of a kind. Okay. So gay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking creepy. <laughs> I can do your voice too. Don't you fucking dare. No, I, de no, I definitely need to hear Don't this. you fucking dare. <laughs> hey, you. I know you. Chris? Hey, sorry, pal, this isn't exactly his scene. So didn't I just punch you in the stomach? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Parker. You probably don't even remember me. But I'll never forget your face. You murdered a dozen of our brothers and sisters at Capitol Park. You didn't care until you got caught. Marcus should have made you pay that night. Chris is a good man. He helped show me what it means to be alive. That won't bring my family back. I know it won't. Back then they... They all told us you were just machines. It was Marcus's mercy that showed me you're alive. That you're people. He woke me up. Like, he woke up all of you. I, I, I know I saw it too late for your friends. I live with that choice every day. I'm sorry, you have to live with it too. I don't care about your guilt. You're not welcome at Jericho. Hey, come on. Let's get out of here. <coughs> DPD break room day. I too. <laughs> you spoiling our boy again? He better realize how good he has it. He's domesticated a Terminator into making his coffee for him. Gavin has come to work freshly showered and only punched one person today. If I keep rewarding him for good behavior, perhaps it'll stick. Hmm. Guess I take it back. Maybe you've domesticated him. <laughs> you've been a good influence on him, Nines. Sometimes he looks like he's actually slept. And ever since you partnered up, he's gone from full asshole to maybe... Half an asshole. Although, feel free to stop there, because if he gets any nicer, I'm not sure I'll be able to talk to him anymore. I'm certainly not trying to take away your best friend, Officer Chen. I'll ensure he maintains enough of a hostile disposition to still enjoy office gossip with you. Good. I hope he likes coffee. Interior DPD bullpen day. Oh, thank God. I hate you. You love me. Move your feet. Have you been thinking about the case? Hey, you know me. When do I stop? Our victim's an AC-900, right? Which, me, which happens to be a model designed for athletics and endurance, so her Ethereum pump is one of the most valuable out there. You think the killer could have black market locations? <laughs> out. <coughs> how advanced that part is. So, once I made that genius deduction, went through a list of my contacts in the Android parts market. A couple of them got back to me with some drop sites for black market deals. Contacts. There are black market dealers who collude with the DPD. Yeah, they give me until I stay off the back. That doesn't seem legal. But, Nines, sometimes you gotta bend the rules to catch a bigger fucking fish. I know it's not your protocol or whatever, but that's why you got me. 
How would I ever succeed without your obstinance and rule breaking? You know, I kind of like the way you say experience and wisdom. Wisdom? Mm -hmm. Gavin, I have a database in my brain containing over 200,000 words in the English language, and I believe you just found the one that least applies to yourself. Shut the fuck up. Look, we intercept some dealers, bring them in, find out if our victim's theory and pump has been making the rounds, and that could lead us straight to the killer. It's a good start, but waiting on dealers to cross our path means it could take weeks to find a lead. Yeah, thought of that too, smartass. There are definitely some sites where black market activity is hot. Slide docks here, and then these apartments out in Ferndale. We'll need to split up to cover both. Nah, you won't have to miss me. We get Chris on one of them when we go to the other. It's been quiet since Jericho. Yeah, I can't blame him. Maybe work will take his mind off it. Marrying troubles in work is your usual approach. <laughs> Perfect temperature. <laughs> For love. <laughs> Interior patrol car stakeout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sounds <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Super good. Stick out. This is all very sweet, but if it's 105 degrees, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. 105 degrees, like, like I can love you from afar. Stick out and make out, y'all. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah. Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> God, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I can't okay. remember. Oh, right. We're not getting married? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hot twist. Hot twist. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's one of the other, like, storylines you could unlock. <laughs> we'll definitely do it as So you have two romanceable characters? Yeah. Like, it's, 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 it's fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one of those fake out things we'll put in the trailer to really throw everybody off. Yes. Where it's like, you guys <laughs> almost kissing? <laughs> yeah. Fake out, <laughs> <laughs> like, we, should, we should just make a trailer of every character almost kissing another character. <laughs> Like, What's gonna life. happen? <laughs> <laughs> you decide. <laughs> Detroit <laughs> Evolution. Detroit Love Island. Tina almost kisses Lotso. Tina almost kisses Lotso. In oh her uniform. Thing. And he's behind bars and she's in the <laughs> uniform. And it's just like, what the fuck is happening? People are watching the trailer going, who even are those characters? Who even are those characters? Alright. I can see my husband later. Um, alright. Uh. Interior, interior patrol car at stakeout night. The binoculars aren't necessary. My vision can zoom up to 850%. Oh yeah? Well, mine can't. <laughs> at least y'all have something to look at. I'm not even about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of looking going on. Hey. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna hit that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hit it again. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> you hit it. I don't remember that killing me in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <good job. laughs> now I'm really second guessing that line. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is perfect. It is. Boring. Eh? Y'all are complaining about who vision. <laughs> at least y'all have something to look at. I'm here by myself staring at an empty dock. Oh, believe me, Chris. Being alone is far preferable to being trapped in a car with Gavin's questionable music taste. Asshole. You better not leave me alone next week when I have my promotion party. Don't worry. I put it in our calendar. We'll be there. Our calendar. What? We spend most of the time, most of our time together. It's only natural our schedules are synced. If you guys want to stay attached at the hip, I can make sure to find a booth for you. <laughs> oh, shit. You're the one with some android chick all of you doing an investigation. <laughs> Are you referring to Ada? Of course, I'm referring to Ada. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's really good. You are truly appalling. <laughs> she is aesthetically pleasing, as all androids are built to <laughs> I don't feel anything for her. <laughs> well, we make you, you know, feel something. I don't know, someone talking to me in like a gruff voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> oh, is this your Tinder profile? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Tinder. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, I, 
I suppose I'd have to start with getting to know a person. Connecting with them on a mental and emotional level. Their appearance doesn't factor into it much, except... I, I suppose once an attraction has occurred, I, I could fixate on certain aspects of their appearance that I find charming. Huh. So you're saying I don't have to worry about you fucking our Jericho contact? I wasn't designed with such programming, so no, detective, you don't have to worry about me fucking anybody. Hey, hey, Mr. 800% zoom vision, look. The guy just entered the building. What about you? What would make you feel something? Ah, no nines. Beggars can't be choosers. At this point, I'd probably take any person that doesn't bail on me the moment things get bad. Bad in what way? Have you met me? God, what isn't bad? You of all people should know that. We had a rough start, I suppose. But there's much more to admire about you than to detest, I think. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That guy's feather bow is lighting up red. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, let's go. I, I just had a thought. So, yeah. uh -huh. at the beginning of the scene, they start talking about their vision, and then I chime in on the radio that, like, at least they have something to look at. Mm -hmm. So I can hear this whole conversation. Oh, yeah. That's, that was <laughs> my... I was wondering too when I was pre-reading. Like, if, like, if, if one of our mics so is keyed, then yeah. yeah. Like, like if the radio's keyed and just like accidentally stayed on, yes, Chris that would be an accident. Um, because there is a motion of him turning off the radio. Well, oh, like, no, it, there's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, oh, no, I mean, well, like, well, typically, I mean, like, it depends on how oh, no, the radio, just, like, Gavin most radios, like, that they're going to have, like, yeah. it's just going to be a hand mic, like, it's, yeah, like, yeah. stripped over their shoulders, so, like, literally, like, unless I'm yeah. holding it down the yeah. whole time, no, you can't hear a single thing. Chris, I need your advice, I'm going to let you listen. But I just, because in the beginning, you guys are having a conversation, I was chime in, I was yeah, exactly, so you can hear everything hear everything. Is this weird for me? Hey, hey, guys, you guys I feel like there should definitely be some B-roll of you just being like, Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Fuck. What's funny is that Chris is literally oblivious to their relationship That's dynamic until. I was, gonna say, I was like, I was like, like it's, gonna so, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be some intentional obliviousness after this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like, sounds like they want to date. It sounds like they're just, they're just really good friends. Weird are, they, are they just really good friends? It's a weird stakeout just conversation, like a, a but I mean, I guess. <laughs> no, this is the part where you come in and go, hey, yo, you gay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> just across the BPD bullpen of the bullpen of This is really caught on, and I'm fucking loving it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yo. I love you guys. <laughs> Exterior stakeout site <laughs> night. Three hours later. Wee woo wee woo! Was that in this, are you talking about the script? Is that how you're going to approach it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now. Is that the yeah. answer? Is yes. 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 Yeah, yeah I oh. do want an outtake of that. Danger. Oh my god. <laughs> Danger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, like, we could do a weird scene where he's like outside with his box, like, huh? And then from a corner you hear, wee woo. And he's like, what was that? And we're like, wee woo. If I, don't, if I don't have like, like the cartoon police sirens, like, are we even doing uh, it right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stake out? Stake out. You have the first Great. line. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> what are you up to tonight, kid? Oh, you know, just uh, grabbing some stuff from my old apartment. Just broke up with my girlfriend, you know, moving out. Boring ass shit. Yeah. Can we take a look inside? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Totally cool. Just, uh, you know, books and stuff. Yeah. I'd advise against trying that again if you value your skeletal integrity. You know the purchase of Android parts from unregistered dealers is illegal, right? Okay, look, man, I know it looks bad, but my girlfriend's actually still with me, and she's an Android, and she can't afford maintenance, and shit doesn't get real bad, and... Come on, you're an Android, you know how it is. Hey, 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 save the sob story, kid, look. All we want to know is whether you want a Ethereum pump from this guy. Wait. Ethereum pumps? Dude, no one's got Ethereum pumps. Those are like the fucking holy grail. I mean, it's like trying to get a human heart. You know, because no one wants to give them up because androids need them to, like, live. So your dealer didn't have any Ethereum pumps in his collection? Hell no, no. This guy is mostly into arms. Like, robot arms, not gun arms. Duh. <laughs> uh, a lot of internal doodads don't make the rounds out here because, well, it's all imported from Japan, and it goes straight to Cyberlife. I mean, I had a buddy once that tried dumpster diving behind a Cyberlife maintenance lab, and one of the laser drones turned into Swiss cheese before he could grab anything. So, uh, can I 
go now? You purchased Android Contraband, which is a federal crime. We're legally obligated to arrest you. Oh, shit. But because you're cooperative, perhaps we can work out a deal once you're brought in. Don't worry. We'll go easy on you. Just try not to be so goddamn annoying. Oh, real funny. <laughs> We're skipping the montage. Quick question. No um, I know Maximus going to grab me by the shoulders, but would it be more funny if he like grabbed me behind, like from my shirt? Like I, I think it'd be funny if he grabbed me by the pole. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, where did you get those heels? <laughs> <laughs> it's like my girlfriend, you know. Yeah, my, my girlfriend, yeah. my totally real girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. This so arm funny. is for her. <laughs> you guys this is her arm. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to a different Detroit. It's my girlfriend. <sighs> I mean, the arm is my is my girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> and then I'm building a girlfriend. I'm, I'm building. A girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess. Yes. No, I mean, you're good. I mean, you're I'm fine. Building. I might just be gone on a limb here. <laughs> oh, 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 Okay. okay. All right, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll go <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Exit you right by there. there. You <laughs> stay there, you what sit you in it. You remember <laughs> this moment, so we don't have to do this again. <laughs> Rub your nose in it. Because we all got to sit here and smell it, so you do too. Fucking fight me. <laughs> oh, cool. Seizure oh, time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to be distracted. No, no, you're good. You're fine. Here, you're good. Stop <laughs> apologizing to us! I'm sorry for apologizing. You're the only <laughs> one who's doing it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, on to Gavin's living room at night. I know we haven't tracked down the party yet, but it could still be out there. If Ethereum Pump is a rare item, the news would get out if one was introduced to the market. Lazo talked about his girlfriend needing maintenance. That's why he was buying parts illegally. What if the murderer killed because... They needed the Ethereum pump, or, or else they'd shut down. You don't buy the kid's sob story about a sick girlfriend, do you? Androids are systemically underpaid. Humans have government-provided health care, but right. we don't. <laughs> People resort to desperate measures when their lives are at risk. Shit. I've got nothing. Gavin, when is the last time you slept? What does that have to do with anything? I've noticed an increase lately in your smoking, caffeine consumption, sarcasm even for you. Will you stop scanning me? I'm fine. Jesus. I'm your partner. I know you're not used to having someone care about your welfare, but perhaps it's time that you accept that I do. Why don't you get to bed? I can stay here and review the case files while you sleep. If you don't mind me staying over, of course. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, stay. Mm. <laughs> this light always makes you laugh. <laughs> I have something more comfortable to wear than my closet if you want. <laughs> slip into it. <laughs> slip, slip into in, something huh? more comfortable. Just slip and fucking fall. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is that he's taller than you, so it wouldn't be. <laughs> That's like nothing I crop. own will be in here. It would be comfortable. Good old crap. Yeah. I have these booty shorts. I have to, but I have to explain why he's in shorts in the next scene. What? I mean, he changed. But he didn't bring his clothes with him. I, okay. Okay. <laughs> his android leg is hollow and he keeps a spare set of oh my God. clothes in there. <laughs>